Well, welcome back to the channel. <sighs> Thanks for joining me today, and we're out on another another ride out review. And we're out today on the Herald, the Herald Brute. Now, this one here is a 500 seat, well, 500 model, so it's actually about 400 and I think it's 450cc. This one, so single cylinder. Um, anyway, without further ado, we're going to jump on and we're going to see what she's all about. Right, ah, cock a Lego. The first thing I notice is. Actually, it's a really, really, I mean, I'm not the tallest of people, five foot seven. Oh, wrong one. <laughs> Very noisy, being a single cylinder and uh, with that muffler as well, that exhaust. Right, in the gear. Hold on. Really bumpy section of road here, so it's a good uh, opportunity to see what the suspension's all about. But anyway, let's talk a little bit more about Herald. So, Herald, uh, they're, they're basically a company in Cambridge, I think, in uh, in the here in the UK. So not far from myself, actually. And uh, they're claiming 80% of this bike is uh, built in the UK. So I think things like the frame and uh, the, obviously the engine is. Yeah, Chinese, but we well, yet to see how, how she performs. Um, really, really bumpy section of road here, so be interested to see what the suspension, suspension's like. No issues so far. But yeah, all, all around, seems like a great fun bike to ride. I've, uh, I've literally just jumped straight on this, so just trying to gel with the bike. Uh, mirrors are okay, visibility's pretty good. And as you can tell by my voice, the bumpy roads are not sort of jarring the teeth out and uh, just soaking up these, these bumps without, uh, without an issue at all. We'll take her up to 60 mile now and try the brakes out. Try the front brake. Absolutely brilliant that front brake. Um, it's got the HGL brakes on here as well, so on the front anyway, so no, no issues at all with that. We'll try the rear. Actually the rear is very good. Really good. Both together, nothing behind. Yeah, no issues whatsoever with the brakes there. And uh, sorry if I'm shouting, it's a bit, a bit windy and the bike is very loud. So, and uh, yeah, hope you can hear me okay. Switch gear on this bike is very similar to. Uh, well, if you're new to the channel, you won't know, but I own a Speed CCM Spitfire Six, and uh, this switch gear is identical on this side. Uh, the dash is very similar as well. However, I noticed on this one, it's got a, a fuel gauge, which is very useful. And I have just fueled the bike up from one bar, on, one block on the fuel there, and I put 10 pounds of the good stuff in. So the, e, uh, the e, E5 seat one leaded. A little bit overcast today, and a uh, little bit breezy, but these roads around here are perfect to uh, see what this bike is all about. It's got the race tech again uh, made in the UK, race tech suspension on the front and the wheels as well. Avon tyres on here as well. Soaking up these bends here without any issue at all. Really a great fun bike to ride. Obviously it's not going to win any awards for uh, how quiet it is because it certainly adds to the, the fun of riding this bike. People certainly know you're on your way around these bends anyway. Fueling seems reasonable. It does seem a little bit spluttery when the revs are low down, but um, obviously being a single cylinder, 500cc, going to take a little bit of winding on. And uh, you keep the revs in that sweet spot. Absolutely loves it, loves it. Like I say, the visibility is very good, but not with the vibrating of the bike. Not really affecting that at all. It's a very comfortable position here. And like I said earlier, uh, the, the seat height, I think it's 835 millimeter seat height. So it's not, not massively um, tall, but I think being so slim and narrow that you know, I can put my feet down, no issues at all there. So it's not intimidating at all. The bike anyway, 140 odd kilo weight. 
I will run through all the specs in a minute when we pull over in the usual way and uh, I want to make sure I get those right but another thing I've noticed on the bike is there's no gear indicator on here although there is a lot of other information you've got rev can running across the top there you've got fuel gauge um, obviously your speed there is uh, different trips through the modes there as well I'm not going to cycle through all that but there's the, the lights on the side there one thing I've noticed yeah they're not they're not very bright so um, you need to make sure that you turn your indicators off don't rely on that light flashing so um, yeah something I have noticed on the bike it's got a, a plastic fuel tank or polyethylene whatever you want to call it and um, got this um, going back to the suspension the rear suspension has got like some floating uh, shock system on the swinging arm which is um, unusual and I will show you that when we pull over but yeah feet are in a good position on the foot pegs the gear indicator the gear shift it's a little bit high maybe could either get used to that or adjust it down but to be fair I think I'd leave that and mold and gel and mold with a bike as it is big old chunky forks on here as well not sure what size they are but they are adjustable like i can see the adjusters on the top of the fork stanchions there and the rear is adjustable also no issues around these twisty vents here perfect roads roads to uh, test out this bike but so i've just fueled the bike up one bar I put £10 in of the good stuff <coughs> excuse me and uh, no issues with the fueling of the bike at all so yeah the bike is a single cylinder four stroke liquid cooled giving you around 42 brake horsepower and 9000 rpm and it's plenty enough for, for a little bike like this you know you don't really want to be worrying too much about that Beautiful. What a pleasure to ride. Absolute pleasure to ride. You can have so much fun on this. The other thing I will mention is the bike is... <laughs> if I'm not ready, it's a great fun to ride. But another thing I will mention is the bike is A2 compliant as well. So it's that, um, the performance of the power output, is, uh, I think it's got to be below 35 kilowatt to allow for the A2 uh, license for the rider. This would make a great bike for commuting, I wanted to commute about on it, go to work and have fun around these twisties on the weekend or whatever. Perfect, I absolutely enjoy myself on this. It's a very, seems to be a very narrow seat, so uh, there's not a lot of room for movement on there, you can't really move about on it too much. But it's not a hydraulic clutch on here either, so it's cabled clutch. But yeah. The bike also comes, I think the bike is actually uh, £6,950 plus on the road charges and uh, you will get a two, two year warranty, two year warranty with, with the bike as well. Um, yeah, all these little radiator guards here, I don't think there's one on the front of the radiators. You've got two separate radiators there, I will run through that in a minute. One's an oil cooler and one's for the liquid cooling of the bike for the engine. So uh, yeah. Uh, she pops and bangs as well when you lay off the power, which uh, makes the ride a bit more interesting. <laughs> the bike has Avon tyres as well, British again, and uh, I've not had any moments yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, great fun, absolutely great fun. overtake oh better rein it in a bit <laughs> quite easily get carried away there what a pleasure to ride if you want um you know a smooth quiet machine well it's fairly smooth but you know this 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 is a fairly loud motorcycle uh, but it, it is you know it does add to the character of the bike it's exactly what it is this is the bigger brother of the the, the herald rat so the 125, I wouldn't mind a ride on that actually, but I think for me, 
maybe that's the starting point, you know, if you wanted to go into this sort of line of bike, uh, slow it down a little bit. If you wanted to go into this sort of calf racer type, whatever you, whatever you really want to call it, but lovely paint job on there as well. I'll tell you what else I did know was on the bike, which I like, is the stickers on the bike. We'll have a look in a minute, but they are actually lacquered over. So you'd be surprised at a lot of bikes out there where they, they just spray and they stick the stickers on which I find really annoying, to be honest. It really does annoy me that. <laughs> the dog was looking at the bike then. <laughs> this bike as well is not Euro 5 compliant, so it run, comes under the E, or the MSVA rule, so basically, to put it into context, it has no ABS, no electronics, completely, completely raw motorcycle, no rider modes, no traction control, so it's all done by your, your the, you know, what you input in the, in the throttle there. Like I say, uh, what else can I say? The switch gear, like I said, is very basic indeed. On the left side, you've got. Um, High beam, low beam, horn. Not a bad little horn, that really. Right, right, we'll take a left here. And we'll go down here. Uh, I'll tell you what else it has got as well is the progressive indicators. And I like them. I do like them. It's a good place to pull over and take a photo. What's it like to find neutral first? Try and get my balance a bit. Neutral. Oh. I just stalled at them, but we're in neutral there. But yeah, my first impressions are... Try not to get one over. I mean, it's a lovely looking bike. Um, yeah, like I say, it's got the Racetech wheels on here and the Racetech sus uh, suspension here as well. Fairly chunky suspension there. Strobing indicators or progressive indicators. Uh, here we are. I mean, look at those. They all, all come standard with the bike. The bike has got, I'm not too sure about the headlight design. Uh, maybe that would grow, grow on me a little bit. LED light in there, LED indicators. Yeah, what I was saying about the, the coolant. So you've got the single radiator there, two radiators there. One's for the oil and one's for the water cooling of the bike. Fairly nippy as well. It's a fairly nippy machine, this. <laughs> great fun, great fun. Absolutely lovely. What a lovely countryside we've got here. Lovely day to be out, although it is very windy, but even still. We'll find a little spot somewhere and I'll pull over and I'll give you a walk around of the machine. But we'll run through all of the specs in the usual way. So just pull in here actually. Pull in here, off the road, out of the way. And. off. A little bit tricky to find neutral. In fact the neutral light's on there. Are we in neutral? There we are. Right, let's jump off the bike. Side stand. That's a habit that, me getting off the bike and putting the side stand down because of my CCM because it's sprung loaded. Whereas this one luckily isn't. So uh, what's your sound like off the bike? Give us some beans. Very noisy. Nice though. Looks like that clamp could do with being tightened up a bit. There's a bit of uh, uh, exhaust carbon on there. Right, let's turn her off. And I'll run through the full specs of the machine. Right, well here we have it. A Herald Brute 500 which is, uh, yeah, they're claiming 80% uh, British made this one. So an A2 compliant engine, which is a 449cc single cylinder, liquid cooled, uh, four stroke engine. 42.9 brake horsepower at 9,000 RPM and 40 newton meters of torque. So uh, plenty of torque, as we just found out. Um, yeah, it's basically the same engine as the, yeah, the Caballero Fantic. 
Uh, it's a lovely six-speed gearbox, although I did have a little bit of an issue trying to find neutral there. Um, yeah, which is a bit of a pain, but I think it's maybe because it's new. The tyres on here are race tech wheel with the race tech wheels and uh, Avon tyres. Again, British made. Again, so uh, yeah, no issues with, issues with that. Didn't have any any moments with the with the tyres. They're very very grippy. The front brakes are a single wavy disc with a four pot caliper branded Herald. So it's at their H, their AGL performance brakes. So yeah, um, no issues with the brakes. So very good in fact. Very very good. Um, yeah, the rear brakes uh, again. It's got a wavy disc with um, a single disc single disc again disc again with a single pot caliper tucked away there not quite sure on the brand of it but i don't think it's hell all the lines are hel all the all the brake lines uh, nice exhaust there as well uh, fairly 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 noisy however um, but yeah i quite like the look of the bike i mean very well seems very well made very well the, the welds are good uh, the seat height 835 millimeter probably uh, absolutely fine for me no issues with that at five foot seven the fuel tank is, uh, is 13.5 litres of fuel. To be honest, not 100% sure on the MPG, but should be absolute, absolutely fine and with uh, excellent in, excellent MPG in my opinion. Uh, lovely paint job on there as well. Like I said before, the, the stickers are, you know, they're, they're not just stuck on over the paint, they're lacquered in, which is, is always good. They're always, uh, it's always a good thing really. I, I don't like it when they just stick the stickers over the paint. So yeah, all in all, looks very, very good. Uh, the bike weight of the bike is 145 kilos. Uh, it's a dry weight, so uh, very light, very easy to move around the garage. No issues with that. Uh, the price of the bike, 6,950 plus on the road. So yeah, fairly pricey, um, really. But other than that, um, yeah, you get a two-year warranty with the bike. Yeah, so it's very well made. I mean, the welds are all very good. No issues with the weld in there. Very high quality, looks very nice. It's also got this arrangement here with the um, like the floating uh, suspension linkage, which seemed to do a very good job as well. So no issues with that. Very impressed with that. The engine finish as well, fairly good quality there on the out, on the exterior, although it being Chinese. So yeah, I was very very happy with that. Can't moan at all there. Yeah. So overall, very good. Um, there is sort of the additional features, including the digital dash, progressive LED indicators, the T45 steel and alloy frame. Uh, the HEL performance front brake system and road rider mark two avon road rider mark two tires right okay let's jump on and ride some more it sounds very easy to get to there the only thing i will say is when you put the side stand down it doesn't seem to lean over very far but you need to watch that ignition on clutch in to start and do the old pocket up <laughs> right. What I would like to see though on here is a, a gear position indicator on there. Just really personal preference. I mean, it doesn't really serve any real sort of nothing to worry about, but I'd, I'd like, you know, like to see a gear indicator. It's very clear on there though. Um, Another thing what I have noticed as well was the, well, how, how well made it is, you know, the the fork clamps there and the yokes. All very good. Overall, a great fun bike to ride. Well, if you fancy going, uh, you know, take one out for a test ride, um, get yourself over. Superbike Warehouse, Great Yarmouth, um, great bunch over there and uh, you can actually ride this exact bike. So this is the demo they have and um, I'm sure they'll be happy for you to take this, this bike out for a, for a ride. And like I said before, it is A2 compliant this as well, so absolutely great for the new, for the new A2 uh, license holder, brilliant. You have got a two-year warranty with this as well, as I've said before, which you know, gives you that peace of mind. So any issues at all, then absolutely brilliant. Just soaked up these bends. 
without any issues at all. Absolutely lovely. <laughs> all looking at the bike. It's very noisy, it is very noisy. Just trying to stop away from the village here, not to cause any bother with the locals. <laughs> it's very hard though. Like I say, it does seem a little bit spluttery when the revs are low, but I think that's uh, you know, I don't know if that's the fueling, fueling of the bike. But this sing uh, single cylinder, you know, you want to keep the revs. It, it, it does like the revs being sort of up there a little bit more in that sweet spot. But overall, do I like the bike? And would I own one? Well, I love the bike. The bike's brilliant. You know, it ticks a lot of boxes for me. And uh, I do love these single cylinder bumper bikes. You know, they, they, they do tick a lot of boxes for me. I like the, the complete raw, wild and experience of the motorcycle. And uh, yeah, it's absolutely brilliant. So um, yeah, top marks really. Well, anyway, I really do appreciate you joining me today on this ride out. Let me know in the comments below. You know, what do you think? You know, would, would it, you know, having a Chinese engine or whatever, would that put you off or let me know in the comments. I'd be interested to know. And if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing, hit that notification bell. It'd be great to have you along. And uh, plenty more coming to the channel, plenty more bike reviews, ride outs. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you on the next video. Take care, see you soon.